They say you should dress for the job you want and not the job you have. Guess I better start investing some new balances. Hey there, welcome to my channel. It's Jackie here. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to dress for an interview. And if it's for a video interview, just take all my advice from the bottom up. Let's talk about what you should wear to interviews from most casual to the most formal. Let's start with the outfit that you're probably wearing most of these days. Sweats and athletic wear are a no-go. <laughs> Definitely do not show up to an interview looking like this. If it looks like something that you'd wear to bed, keep it at home. The very first thing that's really important to deciding what to wear for an interview is getting the vibe of the company. It's Britney, bitch. Do a little bit of research and understand what are the typical requirements for dress code at the company day to day. Are people wearing jeans and t-shirts or are people required to wear suits? This will definitely dictate what you should be wearing for the interview. And if all else fails, check with your recruiter to see what kinds of clothes they recommend you wear. For more informal interviews, they'll typically tell you to wear what you're most comfortable in. That said, I'd still take that advice with a grain of salt. Moving on to casual looks. Some job interviews these days are pretty informal. You can wear jeans, and a nice blouse. I typically come to the interview wearing layers, so that way if it's too hot, I can just take off my jacket. If it's too cold, I have it for warmth, so I'm not worried about getting goosebumps or feeling chills. I think regardless of what you decide to wear, make sure it's always comfortable. I like to opt for clothing that is breathable and flexible, and overall is just an outfit that makes me feel good. If the idea of wearing jeans to an interview is just too casual for your own sake, consider upping it to a different type of trouser or skirt. If you're going to wear a skirt though, make sure that it's at or below the knee length. When it comes to footwear for more casual interviews, consider wearing sneakers, flats, or other comfortable shoes. Just make sure they're clean and not distracting. Oftentimes I'd opt for a flat shoe because you don't know necessarily how much walking you'll have to do, especially if there's a tour component of the interview day. Moving on to slightly more traditional business casual looks. If you need a more business casual look, consider getting a button down and dressing that with a nice pair of slacks or another knee length or longer skirt. Once again, even though it's business casual, I recommend dressing in something that you are most comfortable in. Just because it's more formal doesn't mean you have to compromise your comfort. And lastly, we're going for the most formal option, which is a full suit. This can include a pantsuit or once again, a skirt suit. Make sure that your suit's matching and your shirts are ironed. But once again, I still think it's pretty valuable to have a stretchy, comfy pant. One other aspect that aren't really reflected in the outfits today are accessories. My general advice is to keep the accessories to a minimum. There are two main reasons for that. One, you don't wanna have something that's obnoxiously distracting for the interviewer. And two, you also don't want to have a distraction for yourself. If you're a fidgety person, like playing with your rings or your bracelets, then it's probably best to leave those at home. And if you want to wear makeup for your interview, I recommend keeping it to more of a natural look. Once again, because you don't want to be too distracting to your interviewer, and you also don't want to be distracted by yourself, wondering if your look is going to remain the same. And when it comes to hair, I recommend wearing something that you're also comfortable and familiar with. Typically just finding a hairstyle that looks clean and neat and out of your face. What you wear to an interview won't necessarily make the decision, but it definitely can break the situation. So be conscientious of what you're wearing. Consult your friends and family if you have any second thoughts. I think it's important to find an outfit that fits your career path while also finding a compromise on an outfit that is comfortable. So don't forget to also just dress for yourself. If by the end of this process, you also realize you hate suits, then maybe that's also a decider on what career path you wanna go on. Just saying. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of stuff to clean up after this video, so I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.